come on in and grab a seat. Please make sure that um, you fill in all those center seats because we will fill every seat in the house. Hey, Jen. Hi. I, I, uh, good good to see you. Thanks again. Yeah, you're oh doing a wonderful job. Thank I didn't you. Get to I, wanted, I, I, I know. I meant to come find you yesterday, so yeah. I'm so glad you stopped yeah. by to say hi. You know, like, oh, it's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. in and grab a seat. You can come sit up on the floor up front. It's like an IMAX experience, sort of. Hey, Jack, how's it going? How's everyone doing this morning? Oh my god, that was really lackluster. Let's try that again. How's everybody doing? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the enthusiasm I like to hear. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. What an amazing, amazing day yesterday. I have to say, like, that was, you know, every we've done this seven years. And every year I'm like, how can it get better? And it got better. I. I rode a horse, I got to see some like cool hip hop and break dancing, there was like energy efficiency stuff happening, there was farming stuff, I mean it was like unbelievable, I, what a day, I am so, it's awesome. And we've got another amazing lineup um, this morning, um, so I'm going to quickly go through the uh, agenda and kind of what's up next. Uh, oh yes, first shout out to our sponsors, let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> Uh, you'll hear more about Ben and Jerry's at lunchtime. Secret. Uh, I also wanted to make a quick announcement that um, in uh, you know in uh, December, um, you know, sort of it's like the antithesis of Black Friday, but it's Giving Tuesday. We're going to launch a um, the Wild Center and Casella are going to launch a crowdfunding campaign for our youth climate activities. Um, if you like us on Facebook, which I hope you can do, please go do that right now. Adirondack Youth Climate Summit. We'll be posting um, posting more about that. So we're super excited. This helps us um, off be able to offer activities throughout the year. And um, it, you know, in order to make all this happen, we have to raise the money to do it. So um, it's something that you can share out to your family and friends. So that is awesome. That's going to launch um, Tuesday, December second. This is cool. So remember, I mentioned yesterday that we um, had this massive social media launch um, with uh, NOAA, Department of Energy, the associate, you know, all these groups, including the White House. Hello, White House. Um, so we were on all these blogs simultaneously yesterday. We had over three million impressions. Um, I would love it if you guys were using that hashtag, Youth for Climate, and, um, and not just here at the summit, though I'd love that too, but do it back at your schools, showcasing like in front of like where you guys are doing cool work, your gardens, your solar panels, your you know, water fountains, anything that you're doing, showcase that and, and showcase the actions that you're taking on um, the hashtag, Youth for Climate, because we're going to keep this momentum moving through December um, 12th. Three million impressions. It's in all these different languages. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. So please, um, please keep posting to that. Housekeeping. So there's still some really cool stuff happening all around the museum. If you haven't visited the photo booth, take a right at the glacier and please, please, please go um, take, some, take some photos. We'll have a poster session this morning. Um, if you haven't already, your schools can um, drop off their uh, posters in the Find Out Forest. Uh, make sure you check out the Climate Ribbon Interactive. That's the one by the Lean To. Uh, we, I want it would be awesome to get a ribbon from every uh, student here, every person here, actually, um, and so that we can bring that to Paris. We're also trying to cover that mountain with snow out there, so please make a snowflake. Add to our climate graffiti wall. Check out the exhibits at lunchtime. Um, also, you know, the food composting and recycling is going great. Um, please help us um, continue that today. Rinse out your mugs, recycle those papers, and generally help keep us keep it clean. We have to after you guys all leave at the end of the day. We have to clean up. So uh, any help with that is awesome. Um, 
Okay, amazing agenda. We're going to be here in the morning um, in the theater um, for our uh, first round of speakers. Then we're going to head over to the poster session in the Find Out Forest. Um, and that will be um, really cool, great opportunity for networking and seeing what other schools are doing. We're going to come back into the Flammer Theater. Um, and then uh, our final session before lunch will be, um, we're actually going to Skype in with uh, Alaska. Um, and so, and hear about what's happening on the front lines of climate change with native communities in Alaska. So um, we have a pretty tight schedule this morning, so thanks for, um, thanks for uh, paying attention to that lunch in the Great Hall, and then we'll be back in the theater for the afternoon. Uh, yeah, shout out to schools. Um, let's see. Woo! And now we're going to get ready for our next first. Hey, can you help? Ah, Gina's present. Maybe on the other. Is there another? No, there's not another screen. Um, <laughs> I, I forgot to. Oh. Yeah. I can do it actually with the mic. Okay, I forgot one thing. So. Yesterday, Mark and Kristen Kimball actually left, um, left some prizes. So I was like, how am I going to get rid of these prizes? If you look under your chair and you have a little slip, slip of paper that says you win, you can come see me after and get a prize. Well, after, 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 after. There's like six or seven of them out. It should be right taped to the bottom, the bottom of your chair. Anybody find them? There's like seven of them out there. You got to come, come see me afterwards. Hold on to that slip. Come see me and get a prize. Okay, bring it back. Why is this not? It's okay. It's okay. Can you refresh the page and try again? Look at that. Okay, we're having a teeny technical um, technical difficulty. So in, in the interim, while we figure it out, um, is it up? No, no. Keep going. Good. Um, is Katie in the room from the Green Schools Alliance? Katie? 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 Katie, Katie come on up. So this is actually Katy Perry, not that Katy Perry. <laughs> so, um, but she's from the Green Schools Alliance, and I'm going to just give her the mic for a minute to tell you a little bit about what she's doing. Hi. Well, I wasn't quite ready to do this this morning, but it's okay. So I'm Katy Perry. I'm with the Green Schools Alliance. I'm a former science teacher. I've taught middle school, high school, um, all over the place, Buffalo. I live in Connecticut now. And I'm working with the Green Schools Alliance, which is this really awesome organization that has almost 10,000 schools that are members around the world. So it's this really cool global community of students and teachers and facilities directors and custodians that are all really trying to make a difference in their schools to um, make them more green. And so we connect people around the world to share best practices. We have some really cool programs that help you to, um, to, to make a difference to spread the word about climate change and conservation. 
the program that I really want to plug today is called SC3, and it stands for the Student Climate and Conservation Congress, and it's like this climate summit, which is awesome, so awesome. And then you take that and you extend it over six days by the Potomac River in West Virginia, about 45 minutes outside of DC. It's held at the National Conservation Training Center, which is the federal training facility for the Fish and Wildlife Service. So later on, we're gonna hear from Mamie Parker, who's a former director of the Fish and Wildlife Service. And uh, she comes and speaks every year uh, at SC3. To, we have about 150 students who gather there for a week. And it's this program, but more of it. We get to go canoeing, we do community service, there's amazing speakers, you network with kids from all across the country and some kids from around the world. Um, so check out SC3 applications, open up next month and would love to see some of you, uh, some of you there with us this June. It happens the last week in June, right before 4th of July. So hopefully that works out with like New York State school schedules this year. It, we've had some problems the last couple of years. So come see me. We're going to be at the, um, we're going to have a table at the poster session later, and we'd love to chat with y'all about that. So have a great second day. Okay. We're still having a, a couple little um, difficulties. Hold on one second. Talk amongst yourselves. Meet somebody new. So one thing we could